Hey guys, Dan here from Mario Clan, and we're here to start our Street Fighter V story mode playthrough. At least, uh, that was the plan. Uh, so let's figure this out, because I can't get it. Alright. So general story, that would be the main story mode for the game. Um, the cinematic story mode, if you will. And it's grayed out. Doesn't work. Okay. That's, uh, kind of strange. So... I have the update. I can't remember the most recent update's number, but I got the most recent update. I just got it last night. I, this is January 1st, the day of which... Or, I'm sorry, January? January 1st. July 1st. Um, and it should be out. But what Capcom decided is, is that they're going to have two patches. One patch is going to pretty much implement all the balance changes and the new characters. Though. That is Ibuki and Balrog. Okay, cool. The other half of the patch, though, you have to go into the shop to get. Okay. So let's go to the shop. Uh, well, it's definitely not characters or any of this stuff. It's not titles, profile designs. It's definitely special, right? Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, okay. So what does that mean? What it means, guys, is that I can't play the story mode. I've waited four months... For the story mode to come out, I think it's been four months since this game's been out. I've waited that long for the story mode to come out. And I still can't. Capcom still won't let me. What else did they change? Okay, well, well, first of all, let's just point out, I've done all the character stories. I've, I've done a lot in this game. A lot of the survivals, it says that I didn't do them, but I actually did all easy mode survivals with every character. I did most of the normal ones besides maybe four or five characters. So I put in work in this game. Also I did most of the trials. I think I'm only missing four or five of those as well. Yep. So awesome. Cool. Great. I put in all this time for this game so that I can enjoy it and be happy and when the story mode comes out I was going to enjoy it but no you can't. No. No. Not you. So okay. By the way I looked this up. Other people are having the same problem. Which is great. I love it. I love... Yeah. Thanks. Cool. But, uh... Let's go to the store. Okay. Let's go to alternate costumes. Cool. So we got these. I can purchase these with fight money. Um... But what about these ones? But, uh... But what about these ones? Okay. So, like, I, I really want the sexy Ryu. I want sexy Ryu, but I can't purchase it with fight money. So, if I click it, oh, but you can buy it at the PlayStation Store. I thought you said all the content in this game can be bought without having to use actual money. You can use actual money. I knew this was coming, that, uh, that eventually they would be able to buy costumes just by buying them, but why? Why can't I buy it? Why can't I buy any of these? I got these ones because I got the season pass, but why can't I buy any of these? Why can't I get Karen in a swimsuit? And on top of that, let's take a look. Let's just take a look. Let's all enjoy this moment right here. It's four fucking dollars for a costume. And there's no bundle. There's no, like, cheap bundle that you can get all the costumes. No. Four dollars individually. Let's do the math. Let's do the math. Let's do the math. Of the ones that you cannot buy, it's 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32. That's already too much. <laughs> That's already too much. 36, 40, 44, 48, 52, 56, 60. I have to buy the game twice? If I want all the characters? All the character costumes? Like, if I want these costumes, I gotta spend 60 fucking dollars? I'm just gonna leave it with that. Thanks, Capcom. Or I should say, I would leave it with that. L listen. If those character costumes eventually come out and you can buy them with, with actual in-game money, then that's 
fine, I guess. But why would you release them without being able to do that? Why would you even show us that you have these cool costumes that we can't get unless we want to spend our actual money on it? Why would you do that, Capcom? This entire game has been a journey for me. I love this game. This is my favorite Street Fighter. The release of this game was garbage. The further changes that they made have been garbage. You give me the store months after it comes out. Fine. Okay. Stupid, but fine. Then you give me the story months after it comes out, but it doesn't fucking work. And then even when the game is initially released, the servers were down. And the servers continue to be fucked up. And on top of that, you finally, after four months that the game has been out, are starting to punish starting to punish rage quitters. Now? Four months after it's come out. I don't know what Capcom's thinking, I don't know what they're doing. I would have been I would have preferred to keep playing Street Fighter 4 until now. And the game releases with everything and not busted and broken. I'm really upset. I'm really upset. That being said, tune in for whenever I find out how to fix this shit or they patch it or whatever, and then we play the story mode. Tune in. I'll see you.